What is up, you guys? It is your boy John here from Puma Plow Plains More Farming Simulator 22. We're back here on Elm Creek 4X by Stevie. Let's get to it. Hello? Hello. All right. Did you reload, like, stream elements or something, Carson? I don't know. Okay. You, that means yes. Okay, cool. It to you, huh? And well, this thing's jumped over there, and it kind of... You know. All right. Uh, you got, We're going to need some tippers, right? I already got them set up. Do you? Uh, I've got one, and so I just got one, and feel 18's should have oh. one. Oh, you're about to have two, actually. Where is they? Why don't I see them on the map? Oh. Probably because you weren't in when they got started. Uh, Stand that, by. Probably stuck, too. No, it's just because I know I wasn't in when he started auto drive. Nah. There's the ones down by Sarge are hitting each other. Yeah, they are. <laughs> All right, we'll steal one of them away. How about that? Uh, do you have another combine set up or no? We only had the two out. Okay. Not sure what you guys had uh, going. Okay. So Sarge, there's one set up, one seventeen for you. Arson has his one. And 18 has one already. 18 has one as well? Uh, I took yep. it off of that and actually was trying to send it back up to Carson, but... Okay. So this... Because there's three of these trailers, right? We only there's have one four. sitting at 18. I can see it over there. Sure. On the map. Black Ollie George, there is. Okay. Oh, yeah, he set it for field 10. Okay. We'll just change him to field 18 then. And just leave him here for when we get there. Because really, it's good all right, so we shouldn't yeah. need... There is actually four of those trailers, but okay. whatever. No, you're good. I thought I thought there was only three. You're right, though. There is four. Yeah, there Sarge, was. Sarge had to sit one. and... Yep, no. Yep, it's, all, it's all sorted out. I got this. <laughs> now that I can oh, yeah. see everything, I, I, I couldn't see it all before because of the... um, you, you know, starting before I got in here. But we're good now. We're fine. Everything is good. There's one at 18, there's one at 17, there's one at 10, and there's one at 3. So, have fun, right? Yeah. Let's go do some harvesting. <laughs> um, other honeybee's head, head is up north yet, isn't it? Oh, yeah. All right. Guess I'll have to get a header down here for my combine. Road trip. I should buy a new one. <laughs> I have a set for up there and a set yeah. for down here. Not a bad idea, is it? <laughs> Probably not, seeing that these things are kind of a pain to haul back and forth. There's allegedly a header cart coming out, but like, it's not out yet. Brent was showing me some pictures of it yesterday. So yeah. It's okay. It'll come out when it comes out, right? Or something. When did we get the fourth trailer? I don't remember that. You say a day. Day. Okay. True. Yeah, I just didn't. I don't know. I feel like we, someone bought it without saying. Well, we have so much equipment now; it's hard to keep track of all of it. I we have an inventory. Oh, you picked it up today. Yeah. Ah, okay. No, that's fine. Have an inventory, Carson. We should, right? Need a spreadsheet with what we have. Is this a no? Not that, but that'll work. Yes. Yo, Kimmy, what's going on? How are you? It is going. Definitely going. How are you? I could just drive down Headed. here. The header. Three and a half passes on the short end of this field. Yeah. I got full. Nice. Right. Grab a header. This is definitely how you transport headers around chat. How you move them and stuff. This is fine. This is a little more challenging than I thought it was going to be to get on the trailer, though. Bell. Come on, tractor. I'm not gonna. You're just gonna ride behind me. Well. Come on. Well. Oh 
Come on. There we go. You're not supposed to. Never mind. You're not supposed to haul a header upside down. You know what? We're going to make it work, chat. <laughs> We're going to make it work. Roy, you don't want to adult today. I'm sorry, buddy. Being lazy. Oh, yeah, it happens. Oh, while I'm up here. I'm up here. Let's get this guy going again. Oh, he's going to go fix himself. That's fine. Bing, bing. Uh, the TMR maker. Um, where's that? I don't like that stuff rearranges itself all the time in there. Um, it's like almost full of TMR, but it definitely needs some silage. So we'll let that run. Get away from it. Go away. Go away. Holy Hannah Montana. Dang it, Bobby. Uh, Kimmy Thanksgiving was actually, uh, was actually really good. Um, I went and hung out with family and had a good meal and that things actually tasted good. And, um, I had my first Mountain Dew, hard Mountain Dew, my, you know, the alcohol Mountain Dew. I was having a good time. I don't know about anybody else, but I was. Um, Dad and I made the pies, uh, cherry pie and apple pie, or cherry pie and pumpkin pies. Uh, the day, well, day of, we made the pumpkin pies. And we made them all did that day. Did you make day. the crust? Yeah, I did, Carson. I opened the box. That counts, right? Hey. Box ain't gonna open itself. I mean, <laughs> you bet. Um. But yeah, it was, it was actually, it, it turned out good. I mean, my one brother was there and... You know, everybody knows I have issues with him, but other than that, um, I got to see one of my nephews who I haven't seen in three and a half years and his wife and it was a good time. It was a good time overall. How was your Thanksgiving there, Kimmy? Uh, Mr. Matt, welcome in. How's it going? Ah! Didn't learn how to drive. Don't mind me. Just trying to crash over here. The, the pies were so good. I think uh, my brother's coming into town for Christmas. I think we're going to make more pies when he's here. Mary, hello. Welcome in. How are you? Really nice. That's good. Good. Good, good. Yeah, I, uh, like, some of the stuff was still kind of weird, like the uh, the dressing that my sister makes. She just, I don't know, she didn't quite, didn't quite hit it this year. Last year, it was really, really good. This year, it was okay. That was more so there for the, you know, the pumpkin pie, let's be real. <laughs> Which, like, Dad and I made. I didn't really do much. I cracked the eggs and I mixed it all together. Because Dad can't crack eggs at all. Come to find out, Dad. Nope. And not crack an egg. So now we know. All right. Oh, I was hoping that would roll over as it would fall. I know I can do this. Chat, I've been working out. Can you tell? I'm a strong farmer. <laughs> I'm a strong farmer, chat. <laughs> That's what I am. Yeah, the hard Mountain Dew was, was, was an interesting one. But it was really interesting. Like, I... I, I don't know. My brother, like, as soon as I walked in his house, he was like, he was trying to get me drunk. Like, as soon as I walked in, <laughs> like, he greeted me and he's like, "Hey, you want you want you want alcohol?" And I'm like, "What? How'd you know that? That's how I'm gonna make it through today, you know?" <laughs> Why do you think I'm here? <laughs> so I was joking with Dad for uh, for Christmas with my brother coming to town because see how that's gonna go, you know. Um, I don't mind spending some time with my brother. It's his his wife. I don't know if I'm gonna spend time around her, but uh, <laughs> y'all will John's get some. Gonna put up a temporary door out to his area with a lock on it. Not <laughs> a bad idea. <laughs> I'll just take the doorknob that's in there and just reverse it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like 
For some reason, if you were to put up like a framed door, you can buy like Home Depot, but not like put walls around it. Yeah. Some of your brothers would try and open the door and say, you know, just like Probably. shimming around the door. But uh, Since there wouldn't be a wall. That... Y'all, y'all, you know y'all will get some great stories after Christmas. Uh, we'll just put it that way. But I did told you not trick foot video last night. I did not know. But I was joking with dad. I was like, you know what, dad? I think I'm just going to be drunk the whole time my brother's in town. <laughs> <laughs> Troy, uh, we'll talk about it off stream sometime, bud. Okay, ask me about it if I'm around tonight, okay? Steel yeah. vault door. <laughs> if I'm around tonight. I might actually go. I'm trying. I think I want to go to bed early tonight. Not going to lie. Let's all name something John's not going to do. Yeah, that. I know. You know how it goes. But I'm going to try. I got, Just because you're in bed at 12 o'clock watching TikTok <laughs> and going to bed at 3 doesn't mean it's any better. Okay? Yeah, but I saw like 7 at 6 this morning, so... Yeah. I did too. You know what I did when I saw him? I just went right back to sleep. Tool height control. People are loud when they get up. Uh, Mr. Matt, that's what I've been told that tool height control does that. I have never tested the mod, but that's just what I've been told. So. Early, what's that? Early isn't two. Hey, two would be, that'd be a good time to go to bed, actually. Two, yeah. Be a good time. Uh, Steven, hello. Um, I actually still need to put the lights on the mailbox. I still have not done that. Uh, that's about it. I have another inflatable to put out too, but that's not like a, it has to get done, but it should get done. So yeah. It does, but you have to use the headers that come with it. Ah, see sand camp. There's more to the story that I didn't know. Makes sense. It's harvest time in this little town. I'll be right back. Yes. We're going to pay the loan down that we don't have and fill our diesel tanks up because it's harvest time. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? The chat. <laughs> Sorry, Troy. Uh, we have grass to mow up north, which we could set up our auto drive or course play on that eventually. Um, we have, uh, Carson's in 10. I'm here at the homestead. Sarge is down, uh, down at 17. We have 18. We have our, our West field as we call it, or you know, blob 2.0 really. And then, uh, we have 46. And I think before it gets away from us here, I'm going to go ahead and buy uh field 41 plot 70. It is $1.4 million, but we have the money uh, because it's also in barley or canola. Oh, I'm going to harvest the train tracks. Uh, it's also in canola. And so we're harvesting canola anyway. We might as well just pick it up, pick up another field, you know? No, Carson. Well, I know, but Carson was working in that field. Okay. Is that better? Uh, Steven, is that better? Just like Sarge is working in 17 there. Yeah, see? As it's canola, we can kind of divide and conquer. We've got uh, tractors and tippers uh, about to come empty us automatically on auto drive. So, yeah, we're, we're just here for the harvest chat. And probably other stuff, too. But you know what I mean. Be a good time. And actually, Trent and I messed up the other night, chat. The other night, Trent and I were in here. Uh, a little late and we planted uh, 39 in uh, soybeans we didn't look it needs it needs to be plowed so that soybean yield is going to be um, definitely affected uh, just because it needs to be plowed so kind of a whoopsie there yeah kind of a whoopsie but you know it happens. It was a new field to us and uh, just didn't think about it. It was planted in sugar beets. And of course, after sugar beets, you, you know, need to need to plow. So not a big deal. We'll just have a little, uh, 
little bit lower uh, soybean yield and it'll be okay. Where are you going, Tipper guy? I think he thinks he's a train. Blue -blue. Should park him right there on the train tracks and let him get clobbered by the train. Nah, I won't do that. But I could. Oh, goodness. Is your uh, unload guy working down there for you, Sarge? Yeah, he's doing fine. Okay. Cool. My guy thinks he's a train. Oh, and now he's... Oh, he's definitely going to get stuck. Or maybe not, actually. Okay. All right. Interesting. And sometimes this... this uh -huh, it's interesting. Put our pipe away and then we'll... Just, oh, and here comes the train, too. He almost... All right, buddy. I see you. It's funny. Anyway. But yeah, Steven, I don't know why uh, I keep procrastinating putting the lights on the mailbox. I don't know why, but I do. So, maybe tomorrow. If tomorrow I don't stream... So maybe maybe tomorrow I'll get out there for a little bit. I don't know. I'm also not sure if I'm going to go hang out with my dad tomorrow because it, it's stuff going around and, you know, illness. I don't want to get sick. So, uh, Lightning, what's up, dude? How you doing? I would like that guy to come empty me, but, you know, maybe someday. All right. Because my brother's really sick right now. Dad and my brother work at the same place, and I figure my brother got it from work, so I just don't know if I want to hang out with Pops right now. Or maybe give him a give it a couple days, you know? That's what I'm kind of thinking. I do live in the same house as my dad, but I'm saying, like, go to the farm with him, same camp, and, like, ride in a truck with him, and being like close quarters, you know, because that's what got me COVID that time was we were on our way to the farm and dad sneezed. And I literally said, I'm going to get sick now. Thanks. And I did. So. Blogger, what's going on? How's it going? Welcome in. How are you? Hey, mister. Go away. <laughs> we'll get emptied out later. Good, awesome plug. Glad to hear it. But yeah, what I'm saying, saying is like be it, you know, close quarters with him. I'll just stay away from him for a couple of days, you know. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Cause I don't know about y'all, but like a fever and and all that, I just I'll pass, you know. I would rather not have a fever and stuff. Like I'll, I'll I'm good without it. So, I'm not fond of being sick. I don't know if anybody is, but I don't like it. So, if I can just avoid, uh, you know, first time and avoid my dad for a couple days, then hey, what I'm going to do? Just saying. Besides, if I get sick, that means there's no streams. Although... I shouldn't actually say that because during COVID, I don't think I missed a single stream. Maybe one. I don't think I miss, missed much uh, much time when I had COVID. Because I also didn't feel that bad. Mostly just tired. But as sick as first time is right now, I don't want any part of that. Okay? We'll just put it that way. Oh, yeah. No cough syrup streams. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, man. You get the good cough syrup and they start, you know, seeing, like, tasting colors and, you know, seeing sounds or something, right? Like the codeine stuff. Great story. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see when my brother's up here. My brother's coming to town. He's the brother that 
may have gotten into a bottle of cough syrup when he was a child. And, uh, well, ended up kind of, my, my older brothers were watching him and mom and dad weren't home and somehow he got into a bottle of cough syrup and ended up running around out in the backyard in the middle of the night or something. I don't really know. I need to, need to see if he remembers any of that, more of that story or if any of the other siblings are dad. I, I need to know more details on that story. I'm <laughs> just saying. Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Do appreciate the follow. Yeah, need to see if anybody remembers more details on that one. So at Thanksgiving, some for some reason, the story came up of uh, the time my dad lost my brother, the same one that's coming into town for Christmas. Uh, lost him at Six Flags. Apparently, Dad sat down on a on a bench and, and fell asleep, and my brother just wandered off. So yeah. Yeah, it was the whole thing. I guess they like announced it on the speaker or something in the in there and like mom found out and yeah, she wasn't very happy. Something like that, I don't know. It might have been well, it wasn't before my time. We're only two years apart, but I would have been real young. I was probably hanging out with mom. But I, I don't know. But one of them one of those stories, you know. I think after this field, I'm going to go get those guys mowing, mowing our hay as well. Trying to be, try to be productive or something, right? <laughs> something like that. Right. called robo what what's the story on that those robo woman why maybe i don't want to know as long as it's family friendly <laughs> it's an interesting one not gonna lie very interesting need that tipper guy Calvin Slayer, what's up? How are you doing today? Welcome in. Oh, she had robots. Oh, 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 makes sense. Okay. Big, big cough syrup lady. I gotcha. Dude, it's amazing what people will do to like, you know, get that high, right? It is, it is actually incredible what people will do. And some of this, I mean, all of it, it's just like, what? I don't know. I grew up a little sheltered life and, like, not into any, you know, drugs or anything, so. She was a mess. I bet she was, yeah. And she probably stole a lot of it, too, right? Got a government phone in the mail. All right. Just bought the remaining DLCs and just started playing the logging map. Nice. Very nice. GG's. Very nice. Oh, did y'all see they put the uh, the thing on sale already? The year one season pass, I think, on their on the Giants website, maybe? Which I thought was funny. So anybody that bought it yesterday, like... I don't know if it's on sale on Steam, though. Actually, I'm going to check because Trent posted the link for it yesterday. Uh, I was like, I'm doing well. Doing well. A little tired lately, but that's okay. Okay, so it's not on sale on Steam. It's still 40 bucks. Okay. Interesting. Right. I, uh, I said this the other day, like, I probably will end up buying it, but 
I don't know. I mean, hey, if they give us like corn fodder bales, that could be kind of cool. And that's what the first DLC to me looks like anyway, is corn fodder. So maybe they'll change the way we can, you know, instead of just having straw for bedding for the cows, maybe we'll be able to use uh, corn fodder, which would be kind of cool. And very realistic, you know. So maybe that'll be a thing. I don't know. Um, thanks for the uh, follow there. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. But it's almost like, and I know, you know, we are getting content, so it's not uh, as big of a deal as it could be, but it's almost like they're starting to go to like a subscription-based game. It's like we got to pay 40 bucks a year to play the game now, which really isn't bad, at least, you know, when you think about the hours that I know like I put into the game, and, you know, a bunch of us put into the game, 40 bucks a year is really not bad. And like I said, I know we are getting content for that 40 bucks, but it kind of interesting. And I know you don't have to pay it either. That's the other thing. You don't have to get the DLCs, but I don't know. It's kind of interesting. It would be very interesting if they'd come out with like a year three, because we should technically get, you know, a game next year, hopefully. Or not next year, but, you know, you know what I mean, chat. At least I hope you do. But yeah. Charge, you're about done down there, aren't you? Go close. <laughs> it's weird when you go from running like two or three of these combines in a field to one. You're just like, God, this field's taken forever. But I'm just, you know. Yeah, but we're still covering ground. Yeah, exactly. We're dividing and conquering today. We'll have to come together when we go over to that big field, though. Because uh, we'll need all the tippers we can. Probably all four of them over there. It's quite a quite a hike. Although, actually, we can haul to the pig barn, or pig area. We don't need to haul that barley home. For the pigs, anyway, so. Yeah, we can just do that, probably. Oh, I'm okay with that. That'll save us, uh, save us quite a bit of time. I actually probably don't even need all the tippers in. And so many combines we have, but it'll be all good. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, chat. Cross that bridge when we get there. For now, we're just going to go back and forth. Which is a lot of what farming is. Back and forth. And actually, you know what? That's all right. So we shouldn't be hauling this home, technically. We should be hauling this up right up there, but we can haul it a lot faster with semis. We'll, we'll do that later. Yeah. Tap of the morning. Oh, wait, it's not morning. Tap of the afternoon to ya. All right, what's going on, man? Welcome in. How you doing today? Getting our, uh, that'd be Irish, right? You know, the whole thing. A random TikTok song stuck in my head. Chat. Don't ask why. I haven't heard it in forever. So cows give milk to sell. What do pigs give? More pigs bacon uh pigs give you more pigs yeah you make money on pigs by selling pigs uh you can make a little bit of money off selling like manure and stuff too but mostly you're gonna sell pigs to make money off pigs and i don't really know how profitable they are because the only time we've really had them we only had them for like five minutes and then we changed maps so i don't really know um, I think after we harvest the barley, which is ready right now, I think we're ready to purchase pigs. I could be wrong in that statement. Because I don't want to buy them unless we have, like, you know, food for them. 
Because to me, there's no point, right? We're not going to buy pigs and then starve them. That just seems cruel and unusual. So, we're not going to do that. You know, kind of like the dairy cows. We waited until we had enough, you know, where we could feed them right away, which we're doing quite well on that, by the way. Uh, if we come down here and look, like, I think we're doing... Well, don't mind the one pig that I'm not feeding, but, like, <laughs> I think we're doing quite well on the on the cows. I did spend some time in here last night working on that. Need some more TMR, but that's 4.6 million. That's a fair bit, you know? And we're making money like crazy. Dang it. Mary, I did say cow, didn't I? It happens. Uh, we're making a fair bit off milk. I sold milk yesterday. Um... IRL. Yeah, pretty much. Thank you. I sold milk yesterday and we made $3.3 .3 million. Now, that was the first time we sold milk. We'll probably try to sell milk like once a year uh, when it's worth like a lot. Because uh, those buildings, they hold. I mean, they hold a ton. I guess if it gets full, we need to sell. Like, even if it's a low price. Or we got to move it to storage, which we can do that too. We can put it in storage and sell it later. So, and then our our tankers hold like 120,000. We have two of them. So it took a little while to sell sell the milk yesterday, but it also wasn't that bad at the same time. As uh, I auto drive it, of course. Just set it up and let it eat. And uh, it works well. So, not a big deal there. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How is it going? Welcome, welcome. Sergeant on the last pass, champ. Thanks for the follow as well. Appreciate you guys. Welcome in. And that one. How's everybody doing today? Welcome in, everybody. And that one. Is the bot behind or is there something going on here, chat? That's the question. <laughs> And that one. Thanks for the follow, everybody. If y'all are real, say hi in chat. Usually I want to follow bot though. It's it doesn't look like this, so I don't think that's what's going on, but yeah. A lot of follows all at once, that's all all I'm saying. But welcome in everybody. Here what's going on, how you doing? Here's sir, what's up, Dean? I know, right? You're not wrong. Moose said you're real, you've been here. Awesome. Hey from Denmark. What's up, Denmark? We have a lot of people from Denmark in here. It's pretty awesome. I'm here for it, chap. But the bot must be behind. It might be. Uh, uh, uh. It might be. You never know. I oh, forgot to follow. Well, I appreciate you following. Thank you. Usually whenever there's like a bunch of random follows, like something bad's about to happen. So <laughs> the guard is up chat. It's like, how fast can I turn off my alerts? That's what it really comes down to. And no, I don't have that as a, on a button on my stream deck. I probably should. I don't have that set up. And that's okay. I appreciate the follows, chat. As long as I've been doing this, like, you know. There's there's things that start setting off the uh, the red flags. You know what I'm saying? Can we crash right as you hit the button? Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I do appreciate it. Our, our chat, like, when, um, like, people come in, in chat together. Like, say you get two new chatters, like, back-to-back. -back, or even three or four sometimes it happens, right? And then they start talking like they know each other. Oh, that's a bad situation about to happen. That's That's got bad news written all over it. Usually in the, when that happens, everybody ends up getting banned. 
because basically what they're doing is they're sitting in a Discord or something talking, and they're just going around the internet trolling random people on Twitch. Is usually what happens there. So I've been a part of that, but not like the trolley part, you know. Like sometimes we'll sit in team speaking, you know. We used to do it more. Or we'd go sit in team speak and then just like join random streams and like start talking to somebody with like one viewer. And next thing you know, they had like 10 people watching. It was fun. Exactly, San Camp, yeah. Yeah, that, that was actually really fun when we used to do that. Everybody always was like, oh, you guys are just going around causing trouble. And it's like, oh, we're just being nice. We're just saying hi. Like we never did anything like mean or malicious or anything, you know. But usually we'd end up getting banned. Just because people are suspicious, you know. I haven't done that in like literally years. Yeah, it was it was always pretty funny. Not gonna lie. It was a good time. Yeah. Have to deal with rocks now. I'm sorry. <laughs> rocks are awful. I just realized last night, I was looking at our equipment in the sheds. We have a rock picker on this map. I didn't know that. It must have been from when we started. I guess. I don't know. I finally sold those lime spreaders that we don't use, the toe behind ones. Sold those last night just hey. to get rid of them. What's up, Sarge? I said yay. What's that? They're You're gone. done? Or the lime no, spreaders? No, they're gone. <laughs> lime spreaders. I know. They were just sitting there. And I was like, you know what? I'm tired of looking at these things. They're gone. Yeah, that might not have been last night. That might have been the night before. But whatever. They're gone. Million dollar rock picker. Uh, no, that was a million dollar mulcher. Uh, Sand camp. Million dollar mulcher, my gay. That's what that was. And it was pretty darn funny, too. Uh. But yeah, million dollar mulch for good times. What do we use to spread lime with? Uh, it's a, it's an interesting combo. Found a rock breaker. Oh, you're you're dealing with the rocks on Silver Run, uh, the the like the the big rocks, right? Uh, we use this right here, Ace Trident. That's what we use. Um, and then it's got the uh the spreader box for it. So it gives you 42 meters, 16 miles per hour, 18,500 capacity, which is not a ton, but what we end up usually doing is running a uh, auger wagon because we have the limed auger wagon mod. Of course uh, we run, well, actually don't even need that on this map. Everything goes in an auger wagon on this map. Even, even pumpkins, if you wanted to, which I know that's weird. But uh, we usually run an auger wagon or two in the field to like fill as you go with the lime spreader. Because usually, well, like when we're buy when we buy fields, they need so much lime that like it just it's hard to keep up with, you know. Um, so we like to just run in the field. So like whenever we get to forty one, we'll probably just run in the field. Um. Yeah. Probably just run with it in the field. Because otherwise it's like you're stopping way too often, you know? Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome on in. How's it going? What's up? Welcome, welcome in. Chat. How y'all doing today? Everybody's having a good Tuesday. Kind of nice getting back to these day streams, right, chat? I missed them while I was working on Christmas lights. It was fun streaming like every night, but I also enjoy having like nights off too. Where I can just kind of chill and, you know, get some editing done or something like that, you know? Kind of nice. Enjoy having a little more free time. Of course, I'm not working on lights, so it's good. But it's good. One of four finals done. Let's go, Sand Camp. GG's, bro. 
So three more to go. I did math. Look at me, chat. Oh, uh, goodness. That's awesome, Sam. When are the other ones uh, due? So you should be getting close to your uh, winter break, right? Enjoy the day streams and nice lunchtime watch. Let's go, Sam. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. But that doesn't mean I won't be streaming at night, so, I mean... They'll be streaming Mondays and Fridays at night, and maybe some other nights. You never know. You never know. Ultimately, I think it just comes down to the fact that, you know, I enjoy what I do, and I want to do, like, you know, I just want to stream a lot, so might as well. All tomorrow, then you're on break. Gotcha. And then you'll be chattering. Gotcha, Stan. That's cool, man. That's per night. All right, Sarge, did you move your 17 guy or? Not yet. Okay, he must. I wonder if him and my guy are caught up somewhere. Oh, my God. Because I haven't seen my guy in a hot minute. Oh, okay. There's my guy. or There's one of them. The other one just left the home. We're good. Never mind. I was a little confused. Uh, do you think you'll need a second one over there, Sarge? You might, actually. I was going to bring him over here eventually. Okay. I wanted to get the ends open. Yep. That's a good idea, actually. Instead of having one sitting in the way. Stay in camp, you know me so well. <laughs> Dawson, what's going on, man? Welcome back. How you been? <laughs> Sand camp knows me so well. I can start a one-sided streak with you. <laughs> it's a new pictures. Because uh, you know you're not going to get a reply, right? <laughs> See, my thing is keep the expectations low, and that way, if I do reply, it's you. You know, it's it's a surprise, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't. Uh, I don't know. If I'm at the farm or something, like I'll reply, but most of the time, you know, I don't. <laughs> uh, I'm a bad person. I'm sorry, San. <laughs> but you know it, right? Like your heart races if you get a snap back. <laughs> oh man. Sorry, Sam. I shouldn't laugh, but like you know it's true. I <laughs> not on my phone chat, leave me alone. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, man. The street you saying, Camp. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Just took a picture of my combine and sent it to Sand Camp. <laughs> oh, man. Even Carson doesn't get replies all the time from me, okay? I, I don't... Yeah. Even Carson doesn't always get replies. Sometimes he does, but yeah. <laughs> I sure did, Sand Camp. Alright, my tipper guy is finally coming around the corner. I kind of need him, so, like, this is good timing, buddy. Yeah. Trent sends you farm some picks. Well, that's what he's doing, probably, you know? I guess he's actually out, like, farming or doing something right, right now. Normally, he would be in here. But he's probably out doing something around the farm. 
Or maybe he's here and just joined the channel. I don't know. You tell me. Hi, Trent. Were your ears burning? No. Okay. Saying camp just mentioned you, and I said, yeah, he's probably out farming. Big E, what's going on, dude? How you been, buddy? Welcome back. You know what, Sarge? I'm going to steal your... I'm going to steal Carson's big guy. Because Carson's not here, and uh, I actually had to wait for the guy to get back to my field, so... I'm mind. just going to steal him. I don't care. Are mine. <laughs> now, if he'll actually drive, that's the other question, without me having to go to him. How's it going, Trent? Uh, it's going all right. My little Kubota died on me a couple times on the road. Oh, no. What's wrong with it? Uh, I think it might air, some air might be getting into the system somewhere. Oh. I think it's possibly a O-ring on the water separator. Gotcha. That's definitely a problem. Buddy, I, I need you to pull up next to me, okay? Uh, Biggie, very busy. Yep, it's final week, isn't it? For like all of you that are in college. They're driving the same boat. Do I try? They just do what I do and just hold them. No, I'm not a bully, Trent. Been refusing to stop. No, it's well, it's because I got out of the combine and then back in, and I, I confused them. Okay. The other problem is, for some reason, I'm I'm harvesting the homestead field, right? But for him to, like, run in and come back, like, I filled up. So. I've just assigned a second driver. No, he's stuck, though. Carson's combines in the way. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll just steal Carson's tipper for right now. Carson's not here, so. And oh, I'll no. have... Two and Sarge will have two. What? Yeah, yeah, now I have to wait for my truck to warm up. What's, what do you mean? I have to go get a uh, trailer. Oh. Gotcha. Alright. We'll just drive. He'll come around and catch up with me eventually. I'm empty enough to, uh, to keep moving. At least I hope. Your boat is running on sailboat fuel, if you know. Wow, Vicky. We are on Elm Creek 4X by Stevie. So it is uh, basically Elm Creek in the center. And then, well, he expanded um, around the edges. So where all the cell points are, basically, that's Elm Creek. And then just expanded outward. Uh, with some giant, giant, you know, fields. So, it's pretty awesome. We've been playing for a while, too. We're uh, nowhere near on world domination, but like, we're trying at the same time, you know? So, we're getting there. Ideally, we will own everything before we, uh, before we move on, but we'll see. Realistically, if we did uh, another full, like, everything we own soybean harvest would probably be pretty close. Yeah. And there's not a lot of sailboat fuel. Well, Biggie, hopefully you'll get through it, man, and then uh, enjoy some time off, you know? Just saying. Hopefully you'll have a good Christmas, and New Year's, and all that good fun stuff. Yeah, I didn't mind final week when I was in college. Yeah? Of our CNH teachers, uh, as long as you paid for the course, you can use anything you want. Ah. Quizzes, textbooks, notes. Gotcha. The map mod, it's from Stevie's Facebook. Uh, exclamation point map link will get you, uh, exclamation point map link will get you the link to download the map from Stevie's Google Drive. Do we use, well, you mean, okay, weeders. I was like, welders. Yeah, I have a welder at my farm. I can weld a little bit. 
Uh, we just used herbicide with the uh, spot spray technology uh, fire shadow because uh, it gives you a yield, or not a yield bonus, but a bonus on the precision stuff. We don't use weeders, no. Use what you, no. You have to do it my way, Sane Camp, because my way is, the, never mind. Go feed. I'm fire, welcome in. How you doing, man? A joke chat. I don't mean it. Environmental bonus. There you go, Gooser. Yes. It gives us a bonus on the... It give, increases our environmental score. I wear the highway. Fire, I'm great, man. And I am joking. My way is not... A, I don't do the stuff the right way. I don't know that there is one right way to do everything in farm sim. It's kind of however you want to do it. You know, that's what the beauty of playing the game. You can play however you want. You know, if you want a, a combine that goes 100 miles an hour, more power to you. Or if you want a, you know, a tiny combine that goes, you know, 6 miles an hour, more power to you. It's a good part of farm sim. We can play however we want. And get judged on the internet by people for how we play <laughs> Uh, you guys know that's true, right? <laughs> that's okay. It's fun. All in good fun. We're here. It's, it's fun, chat. We're having fun. Something. Hey, John, I'm still a little tired. I don't know what you're talking about, Trent. I've already made it known. I'm going to bed early tonight. Get me here. We've all been up, or some of us have been up way too late lately. But through both alarms again. <laughs> Just like Sam was so mad. Pretty much. Right, yeah. This time I woke up at 9 instead of 9 30 or 10. Yeah. As long as the end result's the same, who cares? Exactly. As long as we're able to feed our cows and pay our bills on the farm, who cares how we get there, right? Early is 1 a.m. I would be early, Sean. That would be early, Sean. Yeah. Yeah, that actually. I saw like five this morning, so. Oh, at least three. Yeah. There's a new Westbridge Hills. Really, Jeff? Interesting. You know, I love me a good Westbridge Hills, right? Hey, the one that was like the OG one just got an update. Oh, really? Very nice. Am I a farmer in real life? No. No, this is my job. Um, I have... Okay, so my dad owns five acres of the family farm that he grew up on. So you'll hear me talk about the farm a lot, okay? And that's the five acres that dad grew up on. We go down there all the time and, and mess with tiny tractors and all kinds of stuff. Actually, here, watch, watch this chat. Watch this, watch this, watch this. You're, you ready for this chat? Check that out. That's one of the tiny tractors. That is one of them. That's uh, Alice Chalmers C is what that is. And uh, that's a picture I took at the farm. So like, you know, look at that. There's just nobody around us. That's great anyway. So. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I talk about the quote unquote farm a lot. Uh, we don't farm per se. We grow about an acre of pumpkins. I wouldn't call that farming. I would call that gardening. But we have fun. It's a it's a fun place to go and you know get away from city and get away from people and yeah. You assume five acres. Uh, I mean it 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 is where all the buildings were. Um, Gooser and like the barnyard used to be there and and that kind of stuff. Um, and then there's some just like we I think we rent like three ish acres. Uh, to the farmers. So dad gets like a little rent check every year. Steel counts. You're a forest farmer. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't say there's any 
No, it's not organic. Definitely not organic, Zing Camp. Uh, in the St. Louis, Missouri area. That's all I'm going to say. Close, just outside of St. Louis. Someday I would like to take that five acres and possibly put like a house or something down there, which would cost like a stupid amount of money because you have to race it up really high because it floods down there. Um, but maybe, maybe not a house, but I don't know. But I would, I would definitely like to take that five acres and like make it a like vegetable thing where people can come from town and like pick their own strawberries and like stuff like that, you know? I think that would be a ton of fun and like be open on the weekends, you know, and I just think that could be a, a lot of fun. They added the farm some 13 to Westbridge. Did they really? Nice. That's pretty cool. Uh, Navy vet, a uh, lot closer to St. Louis than uh, Fort Lost in the Woods. A lot closer to St. Louis. I'm uh, from downtown. I'm only like 45 minutes away uh, in a north, south, east, west direction. So basically, I'm not telling you <laughs> which direction, but about 45 minutes or so, uh, depending on how you how fast you drive <laughs> and traffic, you know, stuff like that. They're not organic pumpkins. So you can't buy one. Uh, so we do uh, use. Well, we don't. Well, yeah, we do fertilize our pumpkins with like a synthetic thing. Um, but we do have to spray them with herbicide or not herbicide, pesticide. We have a lot of bugs at the farm. And uh, we we definitely have to break out the pesticides. I don't like it. I'm not a fan of it. I don't. I actually am not the one that does. It. I, I used to spray all the pumpkins. Dad does it now. He just like took it over a couple years ago and was like, I'll do it. Okay. I'm not going to argue. Um, I don't like it. It's nasty stuff, but I'm not a fan of it. But it's either that or we don't have any pumpkins, you know? So. <laughs> exactly. I'm a direction from St. Louis. Yeah. Anyone remember Yellow Pages? Yeah. I remember when Yellow Pages used to be like a real a real phone book, like way back in the day. Yeah. Actually, some buddies and I almost like we looked into being the guys to hand out the Yellow Pages one year. Because they like they paid fairly decent for that. You would go probably somewhere in St. Louis and pick them up and you know, they'd give you so many addresses or a neighborhood or whatever, and you'd have to go, like, put a, you know, throw them on the people's doors on, like, their front porches. We almost did that one year. My one buddy had a truck, and we're just like, hey, let's make some money. Ended up not doing it. But we sure thought about it for, like, five minutes. <laughs> That's for sure. We definitely thought about doing it. We just never did. Oh, yeah. It, it would have been fun, actually. It would have been a fun, like, thing to, to put on the old, uh, I don't want to say resume, but, you know, on the resume. Could have been interesting, right? There was actually a guy in my neighborhood. This old, old guy in our neighborhood, and I think he had some grandkids. And they would, they would deliver the phone books every year uh, in my neighborhood. Or every two years. Would they come out every year? I don't remember. I feel like it was. I think every year. Yeah, we so had the yellow pages and you had the white pages too. We had both here. One no, was for like yellow. one was for like businesses and one was for like people. Like residences. Houses. That would have been white pages. Yeah. Yellow pages were typically business. Okay. The funny thing is we used to get them delivered to the farm. They would throw them out at the farm, but they wouldn't take them up to the buildings. They would just chuck them out at the end of our mile-long gravel road. Sort of like, oh, there's a gravel road. Yeet. You know? So. They probably sell the mailbox. 
I think that's really what it was because we do we do have a mailbox down there, of course. We get junk mail is all we get down there anymore, but that's okay. You have a couple fields that say need rolled. You roll them and they still say need rolled. Uh, what kind of roller are you using? Oh, I had to pin just the craft screen. Oh, yeah. If there's crap, it doesn't count, right? Uh, uh, you have to use a roller roller, not a mulcher and not a grassland care roller. You have to use one of the roller rollers, which we have modded ones, but basically one of those two. So, yeah. And like Trent said, if there's crop in the field, then uh, I mean, there's no it's good. First, first growth state, you can't do that. Yeah, so do it right after you plant is when I would roll. Uh, if you're going to roll. So, yeah. That's when I would do it. Afternoon, maybe the power will stay on today. Uh-oh, Bert. We having power issues, sir? That's not good. Welcome in. That's not good, Bert. All right, I'm on my last round. Sarge, did you get... You got your other guy, okay. Bats. I think I might jump back over to 10 there and get that field done for Carson. Because he uh, is clearly not... Uh, I don't think he's coming back. Really? You can't figure out how to get to 10, buddy? Buddy, you're literally on the road. Come on. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Good talk, bro. Good talk. Saturday crash took high power for three hours. That's fun, Bert. That's fun. Losing power is just not... It's just so, like... A, it makes you appreciate when you do have power. But B, it's just, like... It's inconvenient, you know? And I don't know about anybody else, but I'm the guy... Power could be out for 10 days, you know, whatever. Say there's a big storm. I walk into a room, I hit the light switch. Every single time. I can hear the generator running in the backyard... Walk into a room, hit the switch. Oh, yeah, there's no power. Walk into a room. Why is it so dark in here? Literally have a flashlight in my hand. Hit the light switch. Oh, yeah, that's right. That doesn't work. Every single time. Uh, that's me, chat. It's not good. Not good at all. Right, we're just gonna leave that for we gotta go that way when we get done here so we'll just go this way for now and then we'll go we'll go that way later okay that's where gas stove made cowboy coffee oh, we're good okay hey Bert question for you what's cowboy coffee that's something they have down in Texas Or I heard about that. Yeah, I heard about that. That was crazy. Day and night. After he made the power, I got you soon, Camp. That's funny. See, it's really. I don't want to say it's bad. I'm. I'm. You know. It's a princess problem, but see, we have a, we are, we're electric appliances in my house. So when the power goes out, like there's no cooking, there's no, uh, hot water, you know? And it's just like, oh goodness. The showers are very short cause they are very cold. Coffee is boiled, no filter. Okay. Gotcha. All right. I just never heard that term before. I'm not a big coffee guy. You guys know this about me, so. Yeah. I 
the capital and you lost your power too. That's not good. Played on Michigan Farms yet. Uh, not on 22, no. I've played Michigan apps in the past, but not, uh, not on 22. I have not. How is it? That's that one that's in the mod hub, right? I believe. I've heard stuff about it. Need to change this to 10. Chat. Go. Don't quite need the guy yet, but we'll get him eventually. Although I will say, chat, as far as coffee, if somebody wants to make me like good coffee, I'll, I'll try it. Not saying I would like it, but I'll try it. One of those things I wouldn't have the first clue of like what to do or what to make or what to order even like going to somewhere and ordering coffee wouldn't have a clue. No idea. Not a clue at all. As a real farmer, it's your favorite so far. Nice. Very nice. Well, that is good. It's always good when you find that map that just kind of kind of clicks for you, you know? Like, my couple of mine in the past have been, like, uh, Farms of Madison County on 19 or uh, Griffin, Indiana. Those are kind of kind of top-of-the-list farms for me, you know? And uh, it's always fun when you find that farm and you're just like, man, this is, this is what I'm here for. You know, or even... Elm Creek 4X here. I'm I'm all about this. I I love this map. I've been having a great time here. I've got like 450 hours in this map or something now, you know. So with, I mean, I have our next map in mind, but like we're not ready to change yet, you know. Not ready. But yeah. Griffin's about 20 miles from you, really? I've been there, kind of. I've been down 64 in that area, but anyway. I I didn't stop in Griffin or anything, of course, but... Yeah. If I were going back through, I would definitely stop. And just be like, hey, I'm in Griffin, Indiana. Like, take a picture of the sign, you know? And then probably leave. Because all the locals would be looking at me like I was a weirdo. And they would be right. Just saying. That's okay. It's all good. There's no stopping this. I, I know. I've looked at it on Google a couple of times. They have an exit off the highway. So you can totally stop there. I don't know what you would what one person would do in Griffin, Indiana, besides just be like, hey, I've been here on Farm Sim. I, I don't know what else you would do. <laughs> that I'm not sure about. I don't think there's even like, there might be like one gas station, right? Stopping by a soda. I don't know. <laughs> like this is a soda from Griffin, Indiana. That's, mm -hmm. I went to Griffin, Indiana, and all I got was this soda. I don't know what else you're supposed to do there. But that's okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, buddy, where are you going? AI works very well in Michigan. Archie Farms, if you're on PC, have you ever heard of Auto Drive? I don't know if you're on PC or console, but if you're on PC, Auto Drive is life. One gallon. Throw in a horseshoe. If it sinks, add more. What? Twitchy, what? <laughs> Throw in a horseshoe. Okay, so maybe maybe auto drive's not the strat chat, because he's doing 
He's doing weird things right now. It's okay, he'll figure out his life eventually, chat, I swear. But auto drive is life. If you haven't never heard of the mod, it is fantastic. There's a guy on YouTube called the Auto Drive Guy. And it is awesome. Oh. Ground console, okay. Gotcha, never mind then. Because having auto drive is like it's life changing. It is absolutely life changing on form some. The season two uh, or year two season pass is available. Yes, uh, none of the DLCs are out, but the, the pass is available to purchase. Yes, I did know about it. Can't get the old uh, payloader. Yeah. Dude, you don't like moving the equipment across the map one by one. Gotcha. I'm just not. Any map I've ever played on PC that. Uh, the actual like in-game AI stuff is just not maybe from driving like point to point, but that's about it. Not a fan of like the rest of it. But we have we have options, you know, we have course play, we have auto drive. Uh here on PC, so we we're spoiled when it comes to AI help. Uh that is for sure. And I'm definitely aware of it. But it's nice to have, let me tell you. It is beautiful. Yeah, Trent, I don't know what payloader you're talking about. I guess I need to look that up. Uh, you didn't even have to activate it because at least I didn't have to. Oh, okay. Right as I bought the season pass, it downloaded, but I was trying to look, oh. to look for it to activate it. But... Okay, I haven't purchased the season pass yet. Maybe it's an item. Yeah, whenever you. Purchase, I guess, the season pass. Unlock your downloads, not pay loaders. So the first thing you see, yeah. based under the uh, wheel loader category. Okay. Uh, welcome on in, guys. How's it going, pass? What's up? Welcome in. Yeah, course play is great too. Course play and auto drive, especially like together too, because you can totally use them in in like, you know, uh, as one. Like you can use them together. It's great. It's very, very nice. It has made making all that TMR up with the cows, like, so much easier. Like, all the grass or hay we have to mow, like, it's just horse place so great for that. Yeah. You see? Oh, we got heck. Arky, exactly. Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? You watch, Trent. Yeah, he said he'd be right back. Oh, okay. I didn't hear him. Sorry. Yeah, all good. Your chat? What? Uh oh, Bert. Was it outside? I'm confused. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, auto drive and course play, it's, it's game changing, chat. Auto drive is nice. You can't drive straight without it. Are you thinking about GPS there? GPS is another one. I we use we use all three. We use uh, uh, horse play, auto drive, and guidance steering. Also known GPS, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, we use all three. Oh. I got you, Bert. Meaning, like, was somebody talking to you last night? No, Bert. Not that I'm aware of. Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Howdy, howdy, howdy. Twitch. Uh, I got you, Bert. Yeah, no, nobody was talking to you. Nobody was talking to you. It's all good. Maybe GPS. So auto drive guys is that mod that's over on the right side. That's the mod over there. And if you look at the map, all these little white like marker things, those are points that we can send auto drive to. 
So if you notice, it's every field, every empty plot, every cell point, every factory, a whole bunch at the biogas plant. Uh, we have a whole bunch up here in our north farm where the cows are. A um, whole bunch in the homestead. We've eliminated a bunch of those spots, so like, not actually all there. Um, and we used the auto drive guy uh, on YouTube. We used his layout for this map for auto drive. Yeah, this is 22. You betcha. Uh, but we used his his uh, basically his config file, and then we've edited and and added to and taken some stuff away and changed it up a little bit to make it kind of our own. But the base of it is the auto drive guy, and I don't know that I'll play a map. Um, again, without uh, auto drive, I love auto drive, and the fact that it works in multiplayer and like any of us can interact with it is great. You know, it's it's awesome. It's really handy. Just start the game and you keep getting stuck. What do you mean by stuck? Like you run out of stuff to do, or you don't know what to do next, or like game locks up on your computer or something? I don't. What do you mean by stuck? I'm here to help. Ask away. Ask questions. I'm here for it, chat. <laughs> oh, man. Don't know what to do. Okay, so I will say uh, you're not alone on this one. Uh, this game, honestly, is not very new player friendly. Like, it's really, really not. And it's, and it's unfortunate that it's not either. Um... But when you start out, I think you have a crop to, to harvest. And I think you have some ground to cultivate. How long does it take to set up auto drive? Uh, the auto drive guy has 300 hours into this map. So, yeah. And the two year old for eight days. Holy cow, Bert. Yeah. Thank you forever to figure out how to buy seed. And, yeah. This game. Okay, I don't know if you guys, how many of you have played Construction Sim, but Construction Sim literally holds your hand and teaches you how to play the game. It teaches you where to buy materials, where to buy gas, where to buy. Uh, vehicles, how to operate different vehicles, you know, how to run crane. It, it literally holds your hand for like an hour. Or actually, it's about an hour and a half where it literally just holds your hand and walks you through. This is how you do this, and this is how you do that, you know? Arm Sim needs some kind of thing like that. Leonard, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? Farm sim needs some kind of literally hold your hand and walk you through it. You know? That's what farm sim needs in my opinion. But yeah. Yo, Kaz. Kaz, what's going on, man? How you doing? Welcome in. We were on one of your maps in 19. We've played a few of different of your maps. How you doing, man? Welcome back. Welcome on in. And Matt would be freaking out. Matt loves your maps. I do too. Your maps are great. I haven't played one in a minute. What do you got? Uh, what do you got cooking? Always down to check them out. That's for sure. That's awesome. But yeah, farm sim to me needs a maybe you know an option. Obviously, don't make it mandatory to start every map. But this is the basics of the game. You know. Leonard, thanks for the gift sub. Guys, I've been good. I've been really good. Everything's uh, everything's going well. Everything's going well. Actually, I think we were... I just... Uh, the clip of when I cussed on stream, that was on a Kaz map, I believe. Starting got two maps going. Let's finish this. What are you talking about, Sean? Hello, by the way. Welcome in. We talk about this one and the login map. I do need to get back to the login map. Troy is uh, Troy's been working on controls for me. 
He's been fine-tuning, he says. We, we talked about it last night for a little while. John, welcome in. How you doing, bud? Yeah, we, uh... We, uh, we, we had a little chat about it last night, so... In Green Valley. I'm not playing Green Valley, am I? No. Oh. Huh. No. No Green Valley here. We did play it for a little while, but yeah. Hello. Island Life 16X. It, is it an island map? That sounds cool. I'm here for it. Definitely better to play with somebody that can kind of walk you through uh, for new players. I would definitely agree with that. Or, you know, watch the stream and ask a whole bunch of questions. Uh, find somebody that uh, doesn't mind answering questions. I don't mind. Ask away. Island Life. Yeah, it sounds cool, Sean, right? Oh, it was in 19 as well. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Here's my problem, guys. There's so many good maps out there that it's hard to, to play them all. You know what I mean? There's so many good maps out there. It's just hard to get through them all. It really is. Okay, buddy, you need to stop. We're about full. And then I'm sitting over here playing Elm Creek 4X, you know. It's a whole thing. Chad, I think I just got trolled by a, a AI worker. He was gonna. First off, buddy, what are we doing here? What are we? What are we doing here? <laughs> Come on. I just got trolled by that AI worker. Oh, this guy's full, and he got caught on that building. Okay. We'll fix him. True, Sean. True. True. But it is... There's so many good maps out there, you know? So many good ones. But that's a good problem to have, I guess, too, you know? Means there's plenty of maps for, uh, for us to play. Plenty of maps to keep us busy. That's for sure. All right. I'm literally... Uh, okay. That close to being done. Oh, goodness. What is me? Over here getting trolled, chat. Can't have anything nice. Remember how we were just talking about how auto drive is so nice? Remember that? <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Uh, two more new maps. Nice, yes, nice. So if you need somebody to show off a new map to to, to people on Twitch, um, let me know. I'm just saying, if you, if you need somebody, um, raise his hand. Let me know. Just saying. Two 40 foot containers, one transport trailer. Oh, you stacked them, didn't you? We did that the other day, too, or back when we were playing it. <laughs> yeah, you can always hit me up, send me an email, whatever. Reply to gmail.com. There you go. I'd love to check it out for sure. Always down to look at new maps. Show them off. Get you some downloads, you know? I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. Definitely. Like we did with uh, Papa Smurf's, uh, the Smurfinator. We showed that off first. Nobody else had it. We, we were, it was an exclusive thing that we had first. That was really cool, by the way. We got him a ton of traffic on his website, so. That was a good time. 
Okay, so I'm going off to field 11 next. So we're going to send this guy to 11. Once he gets empty. Once I get empty here. Come on, Bessie. There we go. We'll send this guy off, and then he'll be over there when, uh, when we need him. He gone. Howdy, right. partner. Howdy, Carson. Welcome back. How's it going? How's it going? Well, howdy. I didn't think he'd come back, honestly. Whoever's in the combine going down the field 10, I'm coming on the pasture. Right, well, I'll let you have your last pass your field. You're welcome. Thanks. <laughs> Not doing all the work. <laughs> Wait, who's doing all the work? Not you. I am, dude. <laughs> Yeah, okay, buddy. Chat, I don't believe him. Don't believe him, chat. It's, it's... Is it still just me, Sarge? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're rocking it, yo. And only if some people's computers could load farms. Who's that? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so... The other guy will have to get moved here in a minute. Off 10. That's fine. Wow. Leonard was here? Leonard was here. Notice how me and Leonard aren't ever in chat really at the same time. Wait, are you the Conspiracy same person? Conspiracies. Carson, that's Kaz64, the, the map maker. It makes maps for farms. Twitch just tried to give you a midnight ad. What? <laughs> no, but he's, he said ho, and then he spelled my name with an L in it somehow. <laughs> yeah, you know. It happens. I don't even know what he was referring to. Oh, it's all good. But, uh... So probably? What was that? The, the, oh, that one map we played. We've played several Kaz maps in the past. <laughs> what? There Toys. he is. Good maps. Yeah, Carson, you just alt-tabbed and typed that, didn't you? What? The, from Leonard. I'm, no. <laughs> <clears throat> so, oh, I was thinking about this. Does Stream Deck have a Wise plugin? Does Stream Deck have a Wise plugin? Like, Wise? I don't know. I'm looking. Because if oh. so, that'd be sick. That would be kind of sick, wouldn't it? No, they don't. <laughs> All right, never mind. Uh, false alarm chat. Uh, what field are we rolling to now? Uh, I was going to head over to the west, like, blobby field. West blob. Okay. You, uh, east-west lines then? Yes, sir. You betcha, buddy. You betcha. And I've got, uh, two, uh, two tippers heading that way, so. Hey, what'd you, where'd you send field 10 guy? Over yonder. Okay. I yeah, just just moved him, so he'll be. Yep, he's driving. Yeah. I don't know that if I can me. get there with my header on. Can I? You can. I just eat across this bridge. Yeah. You betcha. All right, I'm you here. You just got like you know, like when you're trying to squeeze through somewhere, and you just got like suck in your gut. Just like, kind of what you got to do. Let me squeeze past you. We say that a lot here in the Midwest. Yeah. Yeah. Although not so much anymore, because I like try not to get close to anybody if I go out in public, because people are gross. So you know. Yeah. Anybody recommend a good plow mod, Mister Plow? That's my name. That name of God is Mister Plow. I prefer the John Deere twenty four ten personally. It's in the mod hub. Uh, it's been updated. They finally fixed like the AI workers with it. Um, I Did like they? it personally. Yeah. Oh, my. Yep. So what field's the tipper on over here? Uh, it is on number number 11. Good okay. call. I need to change mine, too. Because uh, I'm 85%. <laughs> oh, are you really? Yeah. Ew. Uh, so you might want to put that auger out then, huh? Yeah. That very mug in is Mr. Plow. I guess Mr. Plow would be my dad, right? Cause... Yeah. Some people call me Junior. I'm not Junior, but some people have called, referred to me as Junior for my dad. Nah, you're Boomer. 